you know, granted, we have players come out and drop hit tennis balls this way. And people are going to say, gee, I watched that chapter. I'm not going any further in this course. What you do, do very often on a forehand is you change the angle of the swing. Now, I'll go first, Connor will go second. So, Connor, grab a couple tennis balls. And we're just going to try to hit the ball from one alley to the other alley. I'm going to hit off an open stance forehand, and I'm going to hit an off pace passing shot. I'm going to hit a sharp angle. I'm going to touch my back this way. Just like that. Up. No. Wait, let me see you do that. Soft hands. Okay, up. Now, off that same vertical swing, say for example, Connor's opponent is the hitter, Connor becomes the hitty. Connor's not in charge, he's not in control. He has to buy some time, he has to defend. Many times, the best ball strikers in the world, I think of Connor's, I think of Agassi, they're off their back foot at times and they've got to throw the ball up high to rebuild the point. We call it a semi lob, an arcing ground stroke, a moon ball. So I'm off the back foot and I'm going to just throw the ball up high, give myself a chance to get back in the court. So Connor, let's see you do that. Off the back foot. I just rebuild the point. And especially today, so many young kids, they're not even thinking about taking the ball out of the air. So that's a great tool to have. You can turn it into an offensive shot because what happens is your opponent, when you throw the ball up high, Trajectory makes the ball bounce high, and now the ball gets above their shoulder. Always telling players in the beginning of the match, throw a ball up high to see what your opponent will do. If they take the ball out of the air, you know you're playing a complete player. If they hold their ground and play the ball on the rise, then you're playing someone who's pretty good. But if you throw the ball up high and they run to the back fence, then you know you're playing somebody that you should not, should not make unforced errors against. Now, something that we did earlier, and we show the application for the topspin lob, but now Connor is in close to the baseline, opponent's in close to the net, his opponent hits a defensive lob, now off his vertical swing, Connor should be able to hit the topspin lob. Goes way, way up. Now if he goes over the backhand side for righty, he's only got 78 feet. He's going this way, he's got 82 and a half. So again, see the topspin lob. Now in the Swing goes backwards, the body goes backwards. So he's got to go higher. It's too low over the net. That's a great shot. So you have the skies, you start this way. But as your swing pulls back, your body will match the swing going backwards. So what we just did, quick review, is we hit the off-pace passing shot. We hit the moon ball, buying time. Then we came in, and we hit the top spin lob. Okay, Connor, do those three, and we'll move on to the next chapter. Inside the court.